Hello, it's great to be with you. And I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Al Nasser versus Inter Miami. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4 3 3, but they've got to be effective both with their dribbling and their crosses, otherwise, they'll become bit part players. And now they get the ball rolling. Aviles. And a good looking pass. And a threatening looking ball. Danger averted for now. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, he's their top marksman, but he's also a great all-round player. He just has that ability to go past defenders with such ease. Hopefully... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. And it was there for them to take the lead so early on here. Well, they've certainly started brightly, and that should have been the opening goal, no doubt about that. Really good challenge. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Abdullah Al Khaybari. And teammates around him. But they dealt with the threat posed. Now with Gomez. Suarez. I'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Sergio Busquets. And Gomez. Taylor. We're getting the ball forward. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, could be. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Very quick thinking there. Well, he's certainly not alone. 
And Messi! They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the move. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Taylor... Al Khaybari. Now Brozovic. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Good looking attack launched by Ronaldo here. And there it is, the half time whistle. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half, Stuart. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. The cross is on. And a significant block following that cross. No nonsense clearance. Can he put it away? And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Ottavio Brozovic Tellez and plenty of room in the wide area it needs an accurate cross oh what a clearance under pressure had to react and did well maybe a good position from which to counter on to Taylor well, that is how to play advantage. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And the substitution will occur now.
Options in the middle. Cuts in from the flank. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. They take it short. Opportunity! A corner will ensue. They're going for the short one. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And the short option preferred. Messi. Cross could be useful, able to deal with the threat. Ronaldo. He's lost it. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Busquets. Oh, he's blocked it! Might be a chance to break. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Taylor with it. And that is that, the referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It's a great performance. He's really quiet, he usually bosses around everywhere, Lionel Messi. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.